Hello everybody, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer, I'm JR, this is my little empire of dirt. Uh, I'm going to show you guys something cool today, maybe, perhaps, we'll test it out. I have my cab here for my Ford 97 Power Stroke F250. Uh, if you guys are familiar with the trucks, you know they're super loud and super hot and just not super comfortable by today's standards. Probably more comfortable than this one, but not Cadillacs. So, you know, everybody watching this channel probably knows about lizard skin. And it's supposed to be a heat and sound barrier. Um, poking around on the internet, I came across a DIY recipe that claims you can do this for like a couple bucks a gallon. So, uh, if you look at the MSDS sheet for lizard skin, it is acrylic water-based paint. So that would be like latex house paint, basically. It's hard to say how many how much solids are in lizard skin stuff. And then there's a trade secret thickening agent. So what I have here is what they call micro balloons. And you need to make sure you get micro balloons and not micro balls. Because balloons are spheres. And what gives you insulation in anything is a barrier, an air. So like styrofoam insulation, it's the air bubbles that give you the insulation, both for sound and heat. Um, so I've seen people mix this anywhere from one to one to one to four. I'm going to mix it one to one. This is just some oops, Home Depot latex paint and some micro balloons. There'll be links to this in the description. I have an undercoating gun that I'm going to use to spray it. I'm going to spray it on these scrap panels I have out here because one of the interesting applications I'm curious if I can use this for insulation in my shop. So I'm going to spray this one. I'm not going to spray this one. And uh, I'm going to leave it out here in the sunshine. This area gets sun every day. And we'll check the temperatures um, over a few days and see if it makes a difference. So that's about it. I'm going to mix it up. I'm not going to show you me mixing it up because, you know, it's a guy mixing paint. I think you get it. But I'll mix it up, pour it in the gun, and be right back. This stuff has the consistency of bed liner almost. And I'm going to have to figure out a more cost effective way to buy it because this is 32 ounces. Shipping's what kills you. When I find them cheap, uh, shipping so much that I don't want to mess with it. But I have this about mixed up probably where I want it. Kind of like a bed liner. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's pretty thick. So if anything's going to be effective, it's this thickness. It should be about a quart of paint, so I'll be spraying it. There you go. Mm week this stuff's good and dry um noise deadening is excellent at like that hardly makes any noise at all and it's fairly tough it's a little soft you see it peeled but it didn't it didn't break it's definitely stuck uh i know because you can like bend this in half It won't come off. It's pretty outstanding as far as that goes. Let me show you what this sounds like. So, you know, again, we add in mass. Of course, it doesn't sound. Does it block heat? That's the question. Um, so, for that, I have here... Let me see if I can set you up. I've got a infrared temp gun and I've got a heat gun so I'm going to try to heat these panels to the same 
exterior. I'm calling the red side exterior temperature. And uh, we'll see what the interior side is. So right now, that's 91. It's 94, that's weird. Whatever. Uh, let's heat it up. That's about 300 degrees, which is hotter than what you'll see in an engine bay. This side is 240. So it's a 60 degree drop. Let's do this one. Again, it's 97 now. One ninety, two hundred, two fifty, two seventy, two ninety, three twenty-six. And it is 280 on the other side. Um, this is 162. This is 150. They kind of equalize it, looks like. This is 200. And this is 200. So that's exactly the same. Um, so I guess on heat, it's a eh. It looks like it definitely stops the transfer, but once it equalizes, it probably doesn't make a huge, huge difference. Although 15, 20 degrees on your floorboards with your diesel truck, you know, it might be enough. Um, I'm happy with it. I'm happy enough with it. Put this in the sun. Or I'll bring this in the sun where you can see it. I've showed this on Facebook and a bunch of people thought it was a bed liner, which is funny. Uh, it has a bed liner look. It's softer than bed liner. You can't use it as bed liner. You would definitely dig it up if you put stuff in your truck. But I used it on my Ford. Sneak peek. Um, yeah, I used it on the Ford. I used it on the cab mounts, the cab boxes, uh, the firewall, uh, all the way under the floorboard. And then, of course, I'm going to just coat it in groil. If you're not familiar, you'll see it when it comes. But, uh... It's not quite a bed liner you look. I put it on with a shuts gun, like you saw. Um, but I think it'll serve the purpose. So there's actually a heat shield that goes here and then an air, uh, HVAC box that goes there. For this particular truck, the downpipe runs in this area somewhere. I think right here. Um, I don't think it's going to change my life, but for like 30 bucks, totally worth it. So there will be links to the stuff that I use down below, the micro balloons in particular. I was able to get about a gallon of sprayable, which was enough to do this firewall in two coats and the floorboard in two coats. And this is a super cab, so a little bit bigger. Um, I'm probably going to do the inside the same way with a color, maybe. Um, now that I know it works and I'm happy with it. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to put the vinyl floor back in, so it's not super important, but... I mean, for 30 bucks, you, you know, what do you want? I'm super happy with it. So it can it worked for me. It can work for you. I thank you guys for watching. And uh, let me know if you have any questions down below. I didn't really get very scientific with it. I just kind of mixed it up. But, uh, you know, I'll try to help you out if I can. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on the Driveway Engineer. Save some money here.